What's up, people? Welcome or welcome back to Invest with T-Claws. My name is Tevi, and this channel is dedicated to my investment journey, along with coverage on crypto, Tesla, Neo, Virgin Galactic, and ChargePoint. Come for the information and stay for the perspective. So this has been an exciting week in markets, and even more so in Virgin Galactic specifically. But before we get into that, I'd like to wish a happy Father's Day to my dad and all the dads out there. Consistency is key, and I hope that you all appreciate me spending part of my Father's Day with you. Now, with that out of the way, getting back to markets. At the macro level, we did get the much-anticipated pause in interest rate hikes from the Fed. Powell did say that we should expect another two hikes of 0.25 percentage point before the year is over. My take on that, he essentially signaled the end of the hiking cycle as long as inflation continues to cooperate and follows the trend lower to the 2% goal they've had. Speaking of the CPI, it did come in in line with expectations at 4% flat. Now let's switch back to Virgin Galactic. If you own the stock, you've no doubt seen a nice pump in the price in after hours on Thursday this week. So in today's video, I'll go over the big announcement that dropped this week. We have an analyst upgrade on the stock, so we'll cover that and took a quick look at the technicals. And I'll close with what I've personally done since the last time we spoke as far as buying, selling or holding. As always, this isn't to be taken as financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my personal approach to investing and a thought process behind it. I'd recommend watching all the way through, as always, so that you don't miss out on any pertinent information I'll be sharing. Drop this video a like if you haven't already and smash that subscribe button. Those are two easy ways to show your support to the channel and help it grow if you appreciate the content. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's go. I think by now anyone who pays attention in the slightest amount to Virgin Galactic knows that the first commercial flight, Galactic 1, could happen as early as June 27th when the three-day flight window opens. The news dropped right after market close in the after hours on Thursday this week and the stock reacted in the most positive way. We saw an incredible 53.20% gain within the hour post-announcement, which is just insane. It was a thing of beauty, to be honest. Of course, we gave back a lot of those gains as people were quick to take profit and close the week at a still respectable 17.3% overall gain. Let's take a quick look at the press release. So Galactic One is planned to fly between June 27th and June 30th, 2023. The second commercial space flight, Galactic Two, will follow in early August, 2023. And here's the piece that as an investor, you want to hone in. And it says, with monthly space flight expected thereafter, end of quote. That is beautiful. Why does that matter? It's the consistency in the messaging from the last two earning calls being repeated here. Virgin Galactic has been executing to their plan so far, and we are now at a major turning point in the company's history. We still need to see them deliver on a promise of regular flight cadence. However, this is clearly the mission here. Along with this announcement, they also released this one minute promotional video that some of you may have missed. So take a look. This summer, the space line for Earth is open with our first scientific research mission, followed by our first private astronaut mission. If you ever dreamed of exploring beyond, welcome to the new space age. Tell me that doesn't get you hyped up. I'm clearly hyped. But the thing is, I'm not the only one who's getting excited. I've told you before that as we get closer to commercial operation and Virgin Galactic continues to execute on their plans, analysts covering the stock will come around and adjust their ratings accordingly. This week, we did get a rating upgrade from Alembic Global. The analyst Peter Skibitsky, you can see his profile here, five-star analyst, ranked 449 out of 8,457 analysts on Wall Street. So fair to say he knows a thing or two. Well, he upgraded Virgin Galactic from underweight, that's the equivalent of a sell rating, to now hold with a $4.75 price target. We're here now. Obviously, the overall sentiment is still bearish with a consensus rating of a moderate sell made up of seven ratings. So that's four hold ratings, three sell ratings, and we're still chasing our first buy rating. But guess what? 
that's coming, the median price target is at $3.81, suggesting more downside. Again, most people are bearish at this point. The high end of the price range is currently at $5.20, and the low end comes in flat at $3. These price targets are a good reference to gauge overall market sentiment around the company. That said, don't forget that things can change faster than the upgrade or downgrades. The Thursday pump to $6.22 eclipsing the top prediction is proof of exactly that. This then begs the question of what can we reasonably expect from here? Well, despite the sudden move up, the sell-off that swiftly followed thereafter means that the stock did not get a chance to close in the overbought territory. This is good. RSI is currently sitting at 62.05, meaning that we have room to climb. The 200-day moving average sits at $4.62. The last time we crossed over, the stock was clearly overbought and we fell hard from there. Let's go around. We have some breath left from a momentum perspective and we have flight dates to track too. With the overall market trending up, Virgin Galactic does have room to run. Will we get to double digits by the Galactic 2 launch in August? I'd say it's very possible if all goes to plan with no setbacks. This then brings us to what I'm personally doing. Let's start with, I personally did not sell any shares into this rally. The reason is quite simple. I believe that we're going higher from here and therefore selling would prevent me from maximizing my gains. Because I've been anticipating this, I bought another 100 shares, but this was on June 5th at $3.80. I'd say that that was a smart move again, given where we are now. I've been telling you for months now, right? to expect the Fed to pause in June, and here we are now. Inflation has dropped consistently, and Virgin Galactic has been consistently meeting each of its milestones. We are now a couple of weeks away from the start of commercial flight with a favorable macro backdrop. My expectation is that we will cross into low double digits on the back of a successful Galactic 2 flight. And so the last thing I will say is this, news outlets and analysts alike are waking up to the fact that Virgin Galactic has over 800 reservations for passengers ready to go on this once in a lifetime experience. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is still grounded following their rocket failure and the ongoing investigation there. Soon, we not only get to cheer the completion of successful commercial flights, but we also get to find out what celebrities booked a space ride. Either way, Virgin Galactic is sure to make each flight memorable. If you thought that promotional video was cool, imagine how much more impactful this gets when influencers and celebrities alike are included in the next promo video. This has been a long time coming, but we are finally here. If you sold into that 50% pump, congrats to you on making a nice profit. Hopefully you kept some shares because we are only getting started. But on that note, that is it for me today. Leave a comment below and let me know how you're feeling about Galactic 1 only two weeks away. Where do you think the price goes from here? Also, if you found value in my content, click that like button and share with others who you think could also benefit from it. For my newcomers, subscribe, it's free. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you too can stay in the know. I'll be back on Sunday for my weekly video. Till then, you can keep up with me here on Twitter for crypto and NFT related news. Once again, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Thank you for watching. Stay humble, hustle hard, and I'll see you in the next one.